This is where we got up to. We've recorded some claps, mirroring where the snare hits are of this other recording. But the main problem has been that once we've removed all the ambient noise, those claps sound quite dry. So what I want to do is add in some reverb. Now you can either do this as an insert or as a send effect. Probably a send effect would be better. However, for our purposes here, I'll use the more simplistic approach, seeing as we've only got this one track I'm applying it to. I'm going to implement reverb as an insert effect. Within inserts here, in the first slot, I'll click on where it says no effect at the moment, and then run down and choose a reverb. Now I'm going to open up the Steinberg category. I can run down to the reverb subcategory, and then choose a reverb that I like the sound of. Now I'll use Roomworks SE, and once selected, I now see this small floating dialog that I can adapt and adjust. Now I could manually set this up with all these rotary dials. However, if I click in this empty field, I call up this presets floating dialog. So of course it's now just a case of choosing a particular preset that you like the look of. I'll go for this one, Bright Plate Reverb. I want to listen to this in isolation first of all, so I'll solo the clap, and just notice our last rotary dial, the mix dial. Because I'm using this as an insert effect, I will need to adjust this mix dial, so what is output is a mixture of the dry signal and this affected signal. Or you could leave it like that and adjust the overall volume of this track in particular. First of all, let me just hear what it sounds like. Okay, sounds good enough. Now maybe that pre-delay that's dialed up possibly would cause some problems with the timing. Nevertheless, I'll leave it like that. And then now I'll reintroduce the main track and I'll play this back and I'll adjust the overall volume of just this single track by using the relevant volume slider within the inspector. Here we go, have a listen. Not perfect, mainly because I haven't taken the time here to go through all the different settings. And as I said, the pre-delay setting has been causing a little bit of a problem there in terms of it bouncing in time with the tempo. But those are the settings that you can change, particular to your project. I'll leave it here now, now that we've seen how we can add some extra life into a dry track by using reverb in this case.